Hey guys, in this video, I am going to be going over the an original World War II M1 Grand buttstock cleaning kit, as well as how to put it inside the M1 buttstock, as well as um, just all the components that make it up. Uh, this is an original set, and I'm going to go over their function, as well as, like I said before, how to put it inside the M1 Grand. All right. All right, guys, in the first section of this video, I'm going to be going over um, the function of each of these tools that would go inside the buttstock of the Grand. Okay, so starting off, this is what's called the M3A1 combination tool. Uh, this is a later war tool meant for the M1 Grand. These were put in, ri in the rifles 1943 and later. Um, uh, the earlier war ones were just the M3 combination tool, which instead of having this brush right here, this is a metal br uh, bristle brush. Um, instead, it would just have a patch holder, which would hold one of these patches. Basically, the function of this part of the tool would, it would basically fit inside the slide of, this is the M1 rifle, by the way. It would fit right in there. Oh, it's hard to see, sorry. Right in there, in that hole right there. I'm not going to show it all the way. And basically, you would turn this, and it would clean that area of the barrel right there. Um, other areas of this is there are pins and pieces just for pulling parts out when disassembling the rifle as well as this is to open this breech right here as well as other parts of the rifle that would need to be pried open so that is the n3a1 combination tool this is an original next up is the focus um lubra plate lubra plate 130-a this was issued in one of these little cartons this is a early war one Later war, they switched to a different type of grease, but this is the early war luber plate. Um, this would go in the bus stock as well. So that is that. Um, all right, moving on. This is the horsehair brush. So this is, as I said before, made out of horsehair. Pretty straightforward. This is basically just meant for cleaning dirt and grime off the surface of the rifle. I mean, you have any dirt on it like that. You could clean it any way, shape, or form. So that's what the horsehair uh, brush is meant for. Uh, this, these are kind of a combination used together. This is a cleaning thong. So this was basically a two piece thing, two piece, um, part, which is connected to it with a string and or rope. Um, this would fall down the end, the entire barrel and pulling it back through, putting a, a clean, cleaning patch, um, would clean the barrel. So that's how this would work. This is a cleaning thong. Um, on one end, you could either screw in this bristle head brush which would clean the bore using the wire bristles or you can put a cleaning patch with oil or just keep it dry and then pull it through the barrel which would clean the barrel all right so that is that these two go together this is also a part of the thong which is meant for the cleaning thong which is just meant for as i said before clean the barrel uh the final piece right here is the oiler so this is a just a plastic um piece of the caps were actually Bakelite. In this section of it, there would be oil, which would, which you could basically dab on the inside of your rifle just to lubricate uh, lubricate the, the rifle anywhere you need. And this other side is a uh, component area for holding pieces. So um, that is everything, a little bit spaced out. Uh, in this next section, I'm gonna go over how to put it all together and as well as how to put it inside the buttstock. All right. All right, guys, uh, in this section, you're going to start with putting, uh, grabbing the oiler, and now for fitting it into the rifle, you're first going to start by unscrewing the longer end, the end that does not hold the oil, which would be right here, the shorter end, and you're going to grab your cleaning thong, and now your horsehair brush, and your bristle brush, these two, connect them together just like that, just hold them together, and you're going to start by pushing them inside the oiler, just like this, I go the short end up. Push this end together, like so, and then push them together. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but that's okay. A little bit of a tight fit, that's normal. And now you're just gonna basically screw it. Up. See, it's a little bit tight, that's okay. If it, so this might take a little bit of adjusting, that's okay. Um, that's normal for this, this, this part. And now you're just gonna screw it, and it's tight now. So there you go, screw it nice and tight. Now the, uh, Cleaning thong as well as the bristle brush, brush is inside the uh, long end of the oiler, which is meant to hold it. All right, so that's that. All right, guys, in this part, you're gonna I'm gonna go over 
the um, how to put all these components of the cleaning kit inside the buttstock. So starting off as beforehand with the oiler, with your cleaning thong as well as bristle head brush in it, you're gonna start that by putting that in the bottom hole, which is the shorter hole between the two. There's one hole, drilled hole in the wood that's here and one on the top. One of the top's longer, one of the top, one of the bottom is, is, is uh, short, shorter. So the oiler, if you can see that right there, is basically almost hitting the end. There's still a little bit of gap in there. Um, for that, I'll tell you what to do after that. So next up, you're going to grab your M3 A1 combination tool, and you're going to put it in like this, facing this way. It's the best way because it's best to keep these pieces loose, trust me. And then you're going to get the horsehair brush right next to it and just slide it in. Just like that. And then you're gonna get your lubra plate, your little, uh, how do I say this, this little uh, holder of lubra plate. And then just stick it right on the top hole as well. That will cover that. That covers the M3A1 as well as the horsehair brush. Um, the final piece is just a patch. Um, this was not in the field manual for the cleaning kit. This was added by GIs because you could close it like this and that is the complete thing. But when guys were running around, it would still rattle because there's space in it. So uh, when guys were in combat, this would rattle into like quite a bit. Um, so uh, yeah, so guys would grab uh, just a regular cleaning patch, which were, would be issued in their, um, in their cleaning kits monthly. Um, just one of these, fold it up or just scrunch it up, stick it in the bottom. So there's no more slack and space. So it covers just about the two of them. So that will basically uh, keep it snug in there and stop all this uh, rattling from happening. And then that's it, that's all the components. You basically just close it up, make sure there's no string coming out. Close it up, make sure it's flat. And then there you go. You shake it, if you can tell. This, that rattling is from the, the uh, sling. Got the sling? It is, stick, it is stiff, it's not rattling anymore. So that is the basics of how to put that in there. Um, yeah. All right guys, thank you for watching. Um, so that was a basic overview of the M1 Grand buttstock cleaning kit as well as the components, um, as well as how to put it inside the buttstock. Um, as stated before, those are all original. That is a complete cleaning kit. Um, <clears throat> all those parts were actually original. Um, you really can't find reproductions of those that I could see. It's a lot better just to get original ones. If there are repros, probably the originals are just in better shape and will last you far longer anyways. So for cleaning kits for your grand, I recommend originals. Um, so yeah, that I stated before would go right in there. Um, yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty stiff in there now with the patch. Um, but yeah, that is that. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about uh, the M1 Grand at all, um, or as well as the cleaning kit that goes in the buttstock, put them down in the comments or just let me know. Um, thank you guys, and see you guys in the next video.